Alright guys, so here I'm inside my um, auto alchemy grinder with everything that's in place and hooked up to a storage system that I can easily fill up um, at the top there. I don't know if you can see through at the top the sign storage refill, yeah. Okay, so um, from now I'm just going to activate the script and do a little time lapse of it uh, running. Everything is set up. There we go, everything's good. It's got like brewing stands. I don't actually need blaze powder inside of them, it doesn't really matter though. Um, let's run. There we go. So it takes out blaze powder and puts one blaze powder in each of the uh, brewing stands. And if there's really uh, blaze powder in there, it'll, um, it'll ignore it. And then move on to the nether wart. In each brewing stand, put in one nether wart. And once it's done that, it goes up to the glass bottles. And places the glass bottles inside of, or the water bottles that filled up inside of the things, and moves over to the next badge. So it checks the chests um, between each time, because um, each side has its own separate ingredients. So if in that chest had nether wart, it would put nether wart inside of the brewing stands as the first ingredient. Uh, the middle chest above the lever is always for glass bottles. So the bot knows where to refill its glass bottles if it's um, if the glass bottles are empty. So right now it's going in a circular motion around the uh, alchemy grinder, filling each of the uh, armor stands with um, everything you need to make to start making awkward potions. So what you hear in the background here are awkward potions that are being brewed. Oh, there you go, just filling up. And it always checks the lever to make sure that the um, hoppers are locked. So the hoppers are what take out the um, potions from the brewing stands and puts them inside the chests. The chests that I've hooked up to an auto dispenser underneath the farm. So we're approaching the end of round two. Just gonna go uh, check the bottles, make sure I have enough. There we go. And it's now going to go ahead and move over to start placing sugar to start brewing the speed potions. And it's the same thing for every side. So the sugar was the second ingredient, now we're moving on to the redstone, which is the third ingredient. And again, the same for every side. And last ingredient, the gunpowder, which will turn these eight, these 8 minute speed potions into 8 minute splash speed potions. And now that all the um, potions have been brewed, now it's just waiting 40 seconds for all the potions around to finish brewing, so you can you can you could hear them in the background. And when it's done, fix the hoppers. All the um, potions get funneled out and expulsed at the bottom. And the bot just simply restarts uh, the whole process all over again. So let me just finish here. Let's just force start, stop it. So what you were hearing here were potions being ejected from this auto dispenser into the water here. So I don't have any potions on me, so I'm just going to put the gunpowder. But yeah, that's basically an auto dispenser where all the splash potions were being put. The splash potions here, so what you were hearing were 
potions just so that's basically my auto brewer with storage so storage can be replenished at the top here don't use that many ingredients so this is a bit overkill uh, you could just go with a default smaller design a bit like this one uh, with the different ingredients so uh, the way it works is once it's in the middle here it will take ingredient one and it it will take this ingredient and put it into these um, into the into these brewing stands. Then ingredient two, then ingredient three and four in in order. So you could have a different set of ingredients per side, so long as the empty bottles are on top of the lever and the blaze powder is on the left. Um, then you're good to go. And then once it's done, it simply just unflicks the lever and all of the potions that were there get moved on and put into a chest uh, on the side. And that there is uh, the setup for the automatic potion brewer. Um, so yeah, if any other questions, uh, I'll just say enjoy, and yeah, if any other questions, ask them down below. <laughs>